Dear colleagues, this is FECO emulsification of a soft cataract. In soft cataracts, we you know it is very difficult to hold the nuclear mass and since we cannot hold it nicely, we cannot slice it, we cannot divide the nucleus with a chopper. So in such cases, what uh, we can do is, if the nucleus is not very soft, if it is uh, soft but not very soft what we can do is we can with the FACO teeth we can just engage the FACO teeth into the substance of the nucleus near the center we must not cross the center we must be near the center and just engage the FACO teeth and keep the FACO teeth there and from the opposite equator we can just slice the nuclear mass with a chopper and thus we can divide the nucleus into two halves. I have done this in this case and uh, let us see how it was done. This is capsulorexis with iterator forceps. I hold the capsular tag with iterator forceps and go anticlockwise and make this CCC continuous curvilinear capsulorexis. We try to remain at equal distance all around from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I get a good rexus. Now this is hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is done very carefully so that I don't cause any rupture of the posterior lens capsule. And now, now the tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. In this case, I am going bevel down and removing some peripheral cortical lens matter. This is removal of the air bubbles. I always remove the air bubbles because it disturbs my visibility. Now here it is. I engage the teeth, keep it there and slice the nucleus. If I try to hold the nucleus, I will not be able to hold it because the nuclear mass, the lens matter is soft and as I will apply vacuum, uh, it will come off and get aspirated. So I can just engage the teeth and bring the chopper from the equator towards the tip and thus I can slice the nuclear mass into fragments. Here it is. Hold it very gently and slice it. That's it. The nucleus has been managed. This is the last portion of the nucleus and this is the cortical lens matter that is remaining. It is being removed with bimanual irrigation aspiration probes. Irrigation is from the right side port and aspiration is from the left side port. Now I change hands. I change now the irrigation is from the left side port and the aspiration, aspirating probe is from the right side port. That's it. Now, the irrigating probe, that fluid, irrigating fluid is being used to dislodge the cells that is sticking to the posterior capsule. In other words, I am going to polish the posterior capsule with the help of this irrigating fluid. Now, this is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. It is being implanted in the capsular bag. The irrigating probe helps the trailing haptic to go into the capsular bag. That's it. And now
I'm hydrating these side ports to make these wounds watertight and this is the final wash and a higher magnification. See what happens. Some viscoelastic substance that sticks to the posterior surface of the cornea that is on the corneal endothelium it comes out during this final wash. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.